What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to double or triple your coins in FIFA this weekend. I wanted to post this video on like Friday or Saturday, so I'm a little late, but you guys can still get in on these investments. Cards are getting so cheap right now. It's almost like, you know, they can't really drop much more. As you can see, we did sell our Moments R9, and I've already started sending, I think I've put like six to seven mil into some of these investments already. So today we are going to go over the lower budget side of things, the mid budget, and then the sort of higher budget, which is what I am doing. It's really not too risky. Any of the investments, it's they're all pretty low risk today. So let's start off with the area where you're most likely going to double or triple your coins. And that is SPC cards. They are fairly cheap. Uh, some of them are struggling to come down a little bit, a uh, little bit, but you can still get the bids for a pretty good price. Like Thomas party, you can get these cards for bid at a thousand coins. What I've been doing is I have a list of 83s and I'll just go through the names or I'll literally just go gold rare premier league. And I know all the prem 83s that I want to buy. So I just go through and whenever I see one of the, 80, the 83 overall cards, I buy them. It's pretty easy. Or just pick a player. I mean, Chelsea has a bunch of the 83s, Kovacic, Mason Mount, uh, Aspi Laqueta, Dumfries. They have a lot of cards. So it's really just the SPC cards that you would really want to look to invest in. I showed you Thomas Party. Let's do the Chelsea one. Uh, the reason for this investment is because we have a token system in FIFA right now. And with that token system, we have... I'm going to go Spain just so I can see how much they're actually going for kind of low very low on saul okay the bid should be at a thousand a thousand coins that's a great price uh back to why they're gonna rise daily team of the season sbcs we'll go look at those right now they did a flash sbc thing for friday the first day cards did pretty decent because of that but i'm assuming that was just the first day thing but as you can see token boom a lot of people are going to be doing these i'm guessing we're going to get them every other day or maybe like it was last week i think it was every other day and then maybe like Tuesday and Wednesday or Wednesday and Thursday, they drop them back to back. So maybe they'll do something like that. But the sell day for pretty much every single card I'm going to mention today is Wednesday or Thursday around that area. But right here, you can see the requirements on this one are really like silver rares. It's 11 rares. Overall is only 70. So silver rares did pretty decent with this. What you're going to need is like 90 chemistry. 95 chemistry would be perfect in a rating of like... 78 or 80 would make Saul, Dumfries, Pepe, Aspilacueta, Mason Mount, Kovacic, Thomas Party, Hoiberg, um, Marino, Canales, Asenjo, Gaia, Grimaldo. I'm just naming a bunch of SBC cards that for a thousand coins or less are pretty solid. Some of them are cheaper. Like I think, I'm not sure, but I think Hoiberg you could have won for like 800 coins on bid. Um, he's definitely one of the cheaper ones. A CDM isn't the best position. Let me see. Yeah, his, he's not even selling at 800 coins. So Hoiberg at 800 coins is literally zero risk. Uh, Bundesliga, you got Witzel. Uh, what else is his name? Uh, I don't even know. There's another 83 and I can't think of his name. So I'm not... Arthur is another one. But um, there's other 83s as well. Like that aren't like the craziest SPC cards. But like it's too low. Like one example is Kimpembe. Check out Kimpembe's price. I picked a bunch of them up the other night for 2,400 coins. Let me just pull up this capture. It's going to be a display capture, so it's going to be like half the screen. But you see here, I don't know if that's actually the price, but that was two minutes ago. 2,000 coins on, I don't know what the zeros are. I never understand what that is, but if he's 2K on Xbox, I'd go buy every single one of those. 2,900 coins on PlayStation. I was buying him, like I said, 2,500 last night. He's been low, 2,400 down to 2,000. If Kempembe is actually that price, that's crazy low, man. Anywhere around 2K on Kimpembe in like mid 2000s on PlayStation. Same thing with PC right there. That's crazy. That is a crazy price. So I would definitely look into picking some of those up. He's not the craziest SPC guard, but that's still really cheap for a Kimpembe. Also, if you guys are doing the investments on the low budget SPC cards, sometimes you can find filters where like there's multiple cards. Like I showed you that Premier League one. But then if you do Prem, I found this on stream today. You can go Prem Gold Rare Defender. This has Regulon as well. Uh, that's not too bad. Regulon's a decent SBC card. You can sit here, go, I think, max price. You're going to have to go max price 800 for Aspi Laqueta to pop up. But then, like, you can hop on this, try to win Regulon's on bid for really cheap, and try to pick up Aspi Laqueta's for really cheap. Sunday with Lightning Rounds and Squad Battle Rewards. Hopefully, no crazy SBC comes out. You guys can get some pretty decent deals, potentially. 
<clears throat> and that's it for the SBC cards. That's where you're going to be doubling or tripling your coins, depending on if you get lucky or not. Some cards go up a little higher than others. I think sometimes it's really just luck if it gets into an SBC solution on flipping. Also, uh, one last thing, you can look into picking up maybe specific cards uh, for Bundesliga that might be going out of packs. This is a gamble. Um, I don't watch the Bundesliga. I, I think Alfonso Davies was injured for a while, but he was in nominations. If this Alfonso Davy gets into uh, Bundesliga team of the season, he's going to fly. If you can pick him up for like 2,100, 2,200 coins, he's going to go up a lot, but who knows I, I don't know i don't think he deserves it but i think it's really a popularity contest because bruno fernandez got into prem team this season and even united fans were shocked by that but uh moving up into investments fodder's crazy low i'm just gonna switch the screen again so you guys can see this we're gonna go to cheapest player by rating i'll full screen it this time cheapest player by rating check out these eight well we're not gonna look at the 83s we just talked about them spc cards uh we're gonna look at 84s look how cheap these guys are they're actually up a little bit more they were cheaper before i'm filming this video later at night so there's not as much supply right now but these cards were down at like 2.2k at one point um telemans was like 2.3k it was crazy low but it, he's 2.6k right now if you can pick up any of the good spc cards uh 84s for around 2500 coins same thing on xbox I, I believe some of the cards on xbox might be on a high trend like right now this telemans he was literally just below 2400 coins 2300 now he's on a high trend maybe he just got in on a solution on footpin but 2500 coins pretty much the same thing with pc as well they're all around the same price you might have to pay a little bit more on pc fodder is usually a tad bit higher there but uh, let's see if we can see yesterday the dip that happened. Down at 2400 23 on Xbox. Yeah, so you can see the dip. He was really, really cheap. You're going to have to pay a little bit more right now. But still, if you're on tomorrow around content with lightning rounds, maybe you'll be able to get some deals. But that's it. 2500 coins for good SBC 84s. I mean, that's so cheap. It's really freaking cheap. Emmy Martinez. A lot of the Prem fodder actually got really low because they were dropping... 84 plus star duo packs but then they also every lightning round i think they were doing premier league specific packs so all the premier league cards got really freaking cheap but uh 85s as well moving on to them they're crazy low i think they're a bit up in price schmeichel i'd say 4.5k if you can pick them up for 4.5k that's a fairly safe price uh, they were down at 4k at one point. I think I have a screenshot in the VIP discord I don't want to pull it up because it'll show all the stuff that I just posted But there was a Schmeichel screenshot. I had at 4,000 coins. It was crazy uh, That was I forget when it was but there was a lot of panic at one point and they got super super cheap But that's it. I'm not looking into the 86s. I don't even think I would look into the 87s where I would maybe get interested into fodder is potentially the 80, no, it was the 89s. Where's he at? Was it the 89s? He's actually up in price a little bit. I was interested in maybe the 89 plus fodder because I saw Sinistera was down at around 25,000 coins, 26K, 25K right there. Okay, so let's, let's check this out on FIFA. We can look at this together. Sinistera was basically the price of 89 overall fodder, but then he was also very close to the price of what uh, discard team of the seasons were going for. So I think team of the seasons were like 25K almost. Nah, they're down a little bit now. Is it 24? So it looks like they're selling for about 24,000 coins. Yeah, 24K it looks like. Can I buy that one? No, I can't. So they're about 20K, 24K, 25 around there. Sinistera is around 20, what was he, 26? So if you can win him on bid or like snipes for 25K, I mean, that's practically one fodder and two team of the season fodder. So you're knocking down fodder for a potential icon SBC tomorrow on Sunday. And you're knocking out the Premier League team of the season guaranteed, which for sh it's for sure going to uh, require a team of the season card. So this Sinistera could do really good with that. So if you're going to buy high rated Florida, that's not a bad route to go. His links suck balls, but, um, you know, it's just, it, it is what it is. He's the cheapest one. I think there was another 89 in there with him. That was it Adiemi. If you can get Adiemi for like 26K, you're, I'd pay an extra that thousand excuse me for Adiemi, uh because he is a german striker was he in the bundesliga i don't know or is he no he's in that uh austrian whatever it is league oh bundesliga i probably pronounced that terribly i don't know but uh then you have 90 overall cards as well gakpo 
is the cheapest 90 overall card and what is Gakpo he's also a team of the season card so Gakpo probably isn't a terrible route what's this Handanovic no that's a that's a different promo but uh 30k it looks like let's pull up Gakpo real quick while we're here Gakpo is just one rating higher let's pull his cute face up there you go Gakpo how you doing sweetheart you're a little higher than 30k so that was an undercut or oh <laughs> i'll take it i'll take that oh the bids are cheap nah man the bids have been by the way bids have been crazy lately i if you guys join the stream on friday i had people going from 500k to 1.5 mil in a couple hours i'll show you what it was uh, let me switch this up real quick. I, I, I want to show you guys this filter. You'll see the players, I think, in my unassigned list real quick. I'll send that to my club. You'll see the next investment I'm going to talk about. All these center backs were crazy. Uh, gold common center backs were selling for like a thousand coins bare minimum on Friday because the player pick still. But then there were also uh, flash SBCs that were keeping center backs up in price. I had Spanish center backs that were selling for 1,500 coins. We were winning 50% of our bids for 350 to 400 coins. And then we were selling for 1,500 coins, bare minimum. It was crazy. I, I The amount of coins people were making, everyone was like, our, our minds, it was blown. It was so crazy. Fodder filtered was good. Everything was going nuts on Friday. So if you missed out on Friday, man, I feel bad for you. But dude, literally in a few hours, made a million coins. It was crazy. We were all trading, getting transfer timed out. I was timed out on on ps5 i was timed out on ps4 i was making so many coins but uh on to the next one enough flexing you know the profit we were making on friday that's why you got to join the streams by the way i'm live every single day on twitch.tv slash teddy127 live at content make sure you come through drop a follow it's free 99 cost you nothing to join and the last investment that i am personally full sending because i always do them it's just what i do Last week, Team of the Weeks were required. Uh, we weren't expecting Team of the Week requirements in FIFA. We, in FIFA, during Team of the Season, we weren't expecting it because last year during Team of the Season, they just got rid of them and started requiring Team of the Season cards. But uh, they actually had an 86 plus double upgrade that required Team of the Weeks. And that brought them up to like 16K or something like that. And then I think Leak Discords saw that an 84 plus player pick was coming out and whatever the, there was another SPC. I don't know what it was. I think there were two SBCs that uh, were decent that made cards go up. But uh, I think Discords thought it was going to require a Team of the Week. So Team of the Week cards went up before content to like 19 to 20K. It was crazy. And I was like, oh my God, I just sold all my, I just sold like 1500 Team of the Weeks for 12,000 coins. And now you make them go up to 20K because I thought you weren't going to require them during Team of the Season. But maybe they repeat the same content this week next week maybe we get another 86 plus double they require team of the week and my team of the weeks will go to maybe 15k M maybe a little bit higher but the thing is there was way more supply this week than than um with premier league team of the season than there was with community team of the season so there's you know just a lot more supply in these team of the weeks but there are no team of the week packs from weekend league so that is different supply wise there but I'm basically just picking these guys up for discard. Like, this is all I was doing on stream. Literally just going through, go to the 59th minute. Just a little refresh, you know, a little refresh there. And uh, buy cards. That's all I've been doing. It's pretty easy. I mean, if you have over 5 mil, I would look into doing something like this. If you don't have at least 5 mil, I really, I wouldn't even be touching them. Because you can double or triple your coins with 82 to 83s. For the 84s and 85s, I think they'll go up like 1 to 2k per card. Um, 84s more so on the 1k side. 85s more so on the 2k side. Uh, so I think percentage-wise, the profit can potentially be better there. And it's also a little risky with Team of the Weeks. Because what if they don't drop a Team of the Week requirement? Then I'm just sitting here with... <laughs> I'm probably going to have like 1,600 Team of the Week cards, and I'll have no, no, I have no idea what to do with them. So uh, there's a little bit of a risk with that, but we know the SBC cards, they can fly. There's a token system out. That's your best bet. That's the safest bet. You can look at gold commons as well. I didn't talk about too many of them, but the gold common right backs from Prem, Kiko Femini, uh, stuff like that. The gold common goalkeepers from la from premier league gold common left wings from premier league you guys know i've talked about those filters in the past it's really easy to make coins off of those um i'm just looking at my notepad to make sure i got everything right if you made it to this video this far in the video as well say burrito mafia 
I'm just curious, you know, how many people actually make it to the end. Uh, I think that's going to be it, though. SPC cards, fodder, all that. Send it. You can see I'm full sending it. I'm going to have about 17 million coins in these Team of the Week cards. Hopefully, we get an SPC. If we don't, I'll be pretty upset. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about it, you know, ask me in the comment section down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.